Welcome to Minutes That Matter. In this video, we'll be learning about how to install Microsoft Windows Server 2016. Before we begin, we need to check the system configuration. We can start by going to the task manager. In there, you can check the CPU requirements. You need to have at least 1.6 GHz or higher a multi-core processor and 64-bit. Virtualization must be enabled. If not, you need to go to BIOS settings and enable it. RAM must be at least 8 GB or higher would be better. SSD will give you a better performance. If not, SATA is also good enough for the lab. And you need to make sure you have at least 100 GB of free space. Now, it is recommended to keep your virtual machines not in C drive, but in any other drive so that you don't run out of disk space, especially in the C drive. You can see I have created a couple of folders where I have the ISO files for the operating systems. And I do have another folder called all VMs, which is meant for keeping all the virtual machine files. Now you need to have VMware workstation installed in your computer. If not, please do install. Now before we begin with our virtual machine, go for configuring some of the basic settings. In the default settings for the location of the virtual machine, under preferences, make sure you select all VMs location uh, from the D drive. You can also make sure your screenshots are saved in a different folder. If at all you have any important screens to save, you can save all those files in a folder named for that purpose. There is one more thing what you need to keep in mind that is in VM networks, make sure that VMnet 8 is disabled with DHCP settings. That is, in VMnet 8, by default, use local DHCP service uh, will be enabled. You need to uncheck that option to disable it. Once you are done with it, we are good to go. Let's go create a new virtual machine. To do that, you can click on File, New Virtual Machine. Now, you can use a typical or custom options, but I always choose custom, so you can see where it will lead us. In custom, you can select uh, Install Operating System later initially. In the list of operating systems, select Microsoft Windows under version click on the drop down list and select windows server 2016 click next rename the virtual machine and you can notice that uh, right now our virtual machine is sitting in d drive all vms folder let's say the server name is server 01 for our reference now i generally prefer bios you can also choose uefi now, number of processors by default is set to 1. You better choose one processor and one core processor. RAM minimum is or recommended is 2 GB. Now, it shows how much your system can allocate. Uh, here it shows that we can go up to 27.9 GB, but uh, 8 GB should be good enough for this lab on my computer. If you have only 8 GB of RAM on your computer, you better choose 2 GB for the setup. Now the rest of the options are pretty much default. In case of selecting the hard disk type, I generally prefer SCSI and you can click next. We would like to create a new virtual disk and by default it is uh, allocated with 60 GB. We will type here 100 GB. It doesn't mean it will really occupy all the 100 GB. So as we use it, it uh, accordingly uses the disk space. So once the installation is complete, you may notice that it won't occupy much of space. Now, all you need to do is select the DVD 
which is used for installing the operating system. So you can click on finish and go for edit virtual machine settings. Select CD DVD. You can also change RAM or any other settings if at all you forgot or uh, did not do it properly. Make sure under CD DVD connect at power on option is enabled. Click on browse and then select the ISO file which is used for installing this. Now you might have downloaded the ISO file required for Windows Server 2016. Select that ISO file and select open and click OK. Now we are all ready to go for installing Windows Server 2016. So let's power on the virtual machine. Now let's go for a full screen view of this window. Now we need not make any changes here. You can click next. Click on install now. Now you have four options in here. We would like to go for Windows Server 2016 data center with desktop experience. You have other options too, but for this lab, we'll stick to desktop experience. If you don't choose a desktop experience option, but just Windows Server 2016 data center, it will have no graphical user interface. This is basically called server core. Now accept the end user license agreement and select custom. And that's our hard disk. Click next. Now it will take a couple of minutes depending upon your system performance. Uh, it is recommended you stop all the unnecessary services running in your computer, especially uh, browsers or any other applications which consume enough RAM and processor. You can also stretch the screen to see a little zoomed in view. Now let me speed up the video for you here. Okay, so it looks like installation is complete. You need to enter the password for the administrator to log in. We need to have at least seven characters long password and it should also meet numeric, alpha, numeric and special characters need. So I have selected ASD at the rate 123, which is the standard password, which I use it for all the virtual machines. Now, once we are done with it, we can go for selecting Control R Dell and log into the server as administrator. Now for the first time when you log into Windows Server as an administrator, you will see a server manager window automatically popping up. This is a very fantastic tool which is useful in managing so many servers and services in a single window. Now we need to start with installing VM tools. Now these VM tools are useful in keeping your virtual machines work effectively with the required drivers. Now go to this PC and you can see that it is showing uh, VM tools in the DVD drive. Double click on that and you can see a wizard appears. Click next and keep it to technic uh, typical and click next. Now here you can see the difference in the graphical view. Now if you go back to the default view of this virtual machine, you can see the Display settings have changed after the video drivers are installed. Now you can click finish. It will ask you to restart, uh, but for now we'll choose no because we would like to rename the computer as well. So you can go to the server manager and then click on local. In local server, click on the computer name. And you can see it is a peculiar name which is assigned by the operating system during the installation. So we will rename it to a proper meaningful one that is server01 and we'll say OK. 
and again it will ask you to restart the computer so we'll say ok and close and here we'll say restart later and we will manually shut down the computer by the way this is called shutdown event tracker which will ask you a reason why you want to shut down the computer every time you choose so the reason why we chose a shutdown is to take a snapshot of our virtual machine so that if you want to go back to the state where the system was freshly installed and you want to start all over again then this would be the best place to start now you know how to take a snapshot I hope it was easy to learn and we'll see a lot more videos learning about Windows Server. Thank you for watching.